Hello and welcome to P&G Technologies. We are a supplier of custom propane and natural gas kits for generators. Today we're going to be doing the PowerMate. Uh, this is the SX series, uh, 7500 watt starting, 6000 watt running. Uh, this has the Generac engine in it, it's the 414cc. Um, again, we'll show you the propane steps on it and the natural gas steps on it and we'll go ahead and get started on that. Okay, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and remove our air breather tube and the vent line for the gasoline carb. Just pop those out, set them to the side, and then we're going to remove the cover here. Um, go ahead and get these off, expose the carburetor. One more on the other side. Now occasionally I will be in the way of the camera, no doubt about it. It's kind of tough to get up in there. I'll go ahead and we'll move this side here. Pull that off, pull the filter out, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and take the two studs off the back plate to expose the gasoline carburetor. Now there's a plate in here, and what that does is keep the air filter from sucking in on it. So when you pull it off, you're going to have the plate here, and then the back cover. Just go ahead and that, now we've exposed that, we'll show you the next steps. Okay, now when we install our slim adapter on here, obviously we're pulling this out a little bit. You have the thickness of this, which is just a little under a quarter of an inch. Um, what we have to do is we'll back these studs out. So what I do is you're going to pull, obviously not have your gasket on there, pull that out a little bit, expose the back of the studs and grab it on this thicker portion here. And when you grab on this, lock down, watch you don't tear this gasket up back there, lock down on it pretty good, and then don't just try to turn it, pop it. And it'll pop right loose for you. So we're going to pull them out. You can only come out so far on this back one because the way the carburetor is built. So we're going to get as much as we can just so we can get the nuts back on when we put the plate back on here. So we'll go ahead and again you might, it might take a couple trial and errors on this just to make sure you got enough on there but go ahead and back those out. And they're back in there deep. These are there's plenty of room on these. Okay, we got them loose. Go ahead and slide that back on. And I might now the gasket that they supply on there, you can reuse that. Okay, and then we'll put our adapter on. We'll supply you with the gasket. Right here's where you'll be able to tell if you got to take this back off and bring it back out a little bit when you put this back on. I think we'll be clear on that. Let's see here. Yeah, now if you can see, I've exposed where it's pretty good. Now you might, I'm gonna have to back out a little bit more for the lock washers on that. So let's go ahead and pull that back off. 
pull these back the gasket the adapter this gasket pull this back away and then we'll get back in here and pull these out a little bit more again they're these are deep in there so you're not interfering with anything that should be fine there back this one out be good there if not we go back and we do it again so put their gasket back on put our adapter on we'll supply you with a gasket and let's see how this goes this time okay we'll get the back covered make sure we got some clearance here okay yep we got plenty let's go ahead and get our bracket back on go ahead and get these tightened up get this one back it kind of helps pull that second one back for you too go ahead and get this one on okay Snug this down real good. Alright, that's that there. We'll go ahead and get our air cleaner back in here. Get our cover on. We'll go ahead and get those put back in Got one more here this one seems to be the toughest because it's close to the frame very nice and easy I mean that's pretty easy steps just backing the studs out you know that's all you that's the biggest thing. We'll lock this down. And that's pretty much them steps there. Um, really easy. You have to get a wrench in there. We'll tighten that down and then we'll show you. Um, go ahead and get your tube hoses back in your air breather. And get your gasoline vent line back in there. Pop that in. Alright, we'll go ahead and show you the next steps on it. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mount the regulator assembly now. Now, all this will come pre-assembled for you, um, and then that way you don't have to turn anything in. We set them here on a jig, turn them in, make sure everything's all set, and leak test them and stuff. So, what we're going to do is we're going to mount this up on this top frame. Now, I've already drilled the holes in here, okay, because we did a sample run of this one. But what we're going to do is just come off an inch off the bottom of the frame here. We're going to come over at two and a half inches from the side of the frame over, make a mark, and then from there, the center to center to mount that regulator is five and three quarter. We'll come over and make our mark here, drill them out. Now, we're just going clearance for quarter inch. Um, I use five sixteenths, but, and it's easier to kind of put the bolts in the back side. Uh, if you want, you can run them on the other side. It's up to you. Um, it just makes it easier because it's so tight back in there. Um, go ahead and get our flat washer on there, our lock washer, our nut. And then we'll go ahead and repeat it over here. Slide it in. Get this one up. Flat washer, lock washer, and the nut on there also. We'll go ahead and tighten them down. Okay, now you might have to get a wrench up back here, which is, well, that's easier than trying to get your hand back in there. Same on this side here. This one's a little tougher to get to, but it can be done. You want to just go ahead and lock this one down. Alright, there we go. Good and tight. Alright, we'll go ahead and show you the next steps. 
Okay, now we're down to the last steps. We got everything mounted on there. Now we're going to install our hose. Now we normally give you 36 inches with this in case you do want to move it somewhere else. You got a little option. So go ahead and get your clamps on there. Slide your hose up on the slim adapter down here. Go ahead and bring that up and tighten it down. You're only dealing with four to six ounces coming out of this regulator, so you don't got to overkill stuff like it's high pressure or anything. So go ahead and get that on there. You make sure your hose is kind of away from stuff. You can turn it a little bit to get it one way or the other. You know, you pull up, it'll bring it out a little bit more. Go ahead and lock that down, and that'll wrap up that step. We'll go ahead and show you how to run this thing now. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get this hooked up to our propane tank. I'm just using a 20 pounder here. Um, we supply you when you buy the perch, the propane kit, you'll get a six foot hose with it with all the connections um, to it. You also have the options if you'd like to purchase the quick connects on these, you can do that. They come with the swivels, but it makes it nice to be able to just disconnect it and go about your day. But this, this isn't so hard to do here. So. Go ahead and get that on there. We'll get it connected to the tank. And I always turn my propane tanks on real slow uh, so you don't get a, a, a vapor check in it. So make sure your bulb, what I do is shut the bulb off, off here. Turn that on nice and slow. Just kind of get that out of your way. Always keep it away from the exhaust side. Um, make sure on this one here, your um, gasoline shutoff valve is in the off position. This is a roll pull. So I always say get ready for these because it could take a while. Um, because what we're doing is we got to adjust the top, the load block here, the power elbow. So. On these, in is lean, out is rich. Just loosen up the nut. There's a primer button on the back of this unit. Turn your fuel on. Make sure you turn your engine on. Again, roll pull. Make sure you're not using choke. Never want to use choke with an alternative fuel. Hit that button in the back and you're going to keep going until you, you find a sweet spot in it. So hit the button, get some fuel up in there. Hopefully we can get it to kick quick for us. Hit the button again. This could take a while. Kind of bring this in a little bit. I always kind of start in with it. Hit that button again. What we got to do is get it to hit. that button. See, they can be challenging sometimes, especially rope poles. Alright, we're going to let this set. You don't want to shoot too much fuel in it. We'll come back to it. I'm going to shut the fuel off down here at the tank. And um, you see I had a little stubborn time with it, so we're going to sit here and let this propane bleed through and then we'll show you, we'll try it one more time. Okay, I think I might have got fortunate, um, the oil was a little low on it. So we'll see, I've loosened this back up here, I've got my gasoline off, my switch on, we'll turn our propane on. Hopefully we can get this thing to kick right away. Um, you can run into different things. The oil was a little bit low on it, so hopefully that's what it was. Hit the primer button.
set steps here. Now I'll kind of explain a little bit about the natural gas here. Okay, that shows you the propane steps on it. Now, if you want to go to natural gas with this, and you purchase our hose with it, now the Quick Connects will install right on here for you, and then you can also buy these with the dust caps and without. I get a lot of people that don't want them, they got their own, so just pull the cap out. Once it's there, just connect your Quick Connect to there, and run your other side to the meter. I always recommend going to the meter, never off a pool heater, or a grill or a barbecue. There's just too much, you, th when it comes to natural gas, it's more of a volume situation. Every elbow adds a certain amount of feed. Every T, every, the more longer the run, the tougher it is to start and bleed the air out of the line. It can happen, you know, it can definitely work. It's just one of those situations we like to let people know what they could run into. Again, on natural gas, you have to find out your outlet pressure on your meter. That will determine what regulator we set up for you. So that concludes this step of this here. Okay, that concludes our propane and natural gas steps for the PowerMate. Again, this is the SX series, 7,500 starting, 6,000 running. This has the Generac 414cc engine in it. Um, again, this is a custom kit set up for this. So like you see, the biggest challenges is adjusting this unit here, but once you get it in, it's okay. Electric starts do make it a lot easier. So if you're interested in purchasing this kit, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we could be reached at 734-992-2648. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you like it. If you do, please hit the like button below and thank you very much and have a wonderful day.